Fam, in this video, we take a common sense test, except we get really baked beforehand. Does the devil's lettuce affect my mental performance? Does the raid halfway through the stream come to my rescue? But also, you know what guys, 97.6% of you guys watch my videos and don't subscribe. Honestly, breaks my heart a little bit. So you know what, if you enjoy this video and you watch to the end, consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. So let's get right into this video. All right, <coughs> here we go. Now, of course I have seen this first question because I had to find this test, but we're on Brainfall. We're gonna take this test. Take it along with me. Track your, track your answers. Look, I just smizzed. It's gonna slowly creep into my mental as this, as this progresses. So let's go ahead. First question. There's 25 questions. Let's see if I can get it all right. First question, when does February have only 27 days? Okay, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna look up anything. Just taking the test. Every four years, every other year, or never? Oh crap, this is a trick question. I know some months, and I don't know, but I feel like some months do have wavering days. That doesn't make sense. I feel like I would know if February only had 27 days. And I'm not looking at chat. Chat, if you know the answers, please don't spoil it. I'm gonna say never. Okay, question two. You're on fire, what do you do? Okay, you're on fire, what do you do? Stop, drop, and roll, baby, come on. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay. A Nigerian prince sends you an email asking that you send him a few thousand bucks. In return, he will share his vast riches with you. Your response? <laughs> Wait, you tell me you guys haven't been emailed by a Nigerian prince? I thought I thought we all got these emails. I thought I was the only one. Uh, so first, the answers are, well, that's an offer I can't refuse. See you soon. Money Grammar Western Union, kind sir. Doesn't royalty have some money in the bank? Why is he asking me? Okay, but this is the last time I'm sending you money. Well, I don't want to troll. I, I don't want to troll. I don't want to troll. Doesn't Royalty have some money in the bank? Why is he asking me? Because now it's doubt. We got to cast doubt. <clears throat> Question 4 out of 25. You open your laptop one morning and find a trail of ants having a party on your keyboard. What do you do? Wait, what? You open your laptop one morning, get a bed, get your coffee, open it up. Boom. Trail of ants having a party on your keyboard. What do you do? <laughs> Scream as loud as possible and chuck it across the room. Well, it's your laptop, so it's probably not smart. Wrap it up and ship it back to the manufacturer. I have a warranty. No. Put out ant traps around my laptop tonight. I should stop eating cupcakes while I use my computer. Well, you don't want to, you don't want to chuck the laptop. You don't want to ship it to the manufacturer. Put out ant traps. I feel like, like some part of me feels like some of these are trick questions so i gotta be careful you know what i'm saying I i'm putting on for the stoner community right now so i gotta make sure i look make everyone look good i should be eating cupcake i should stop eating cupcakes while i use my computer okay i'm killing this i think i'm i'm 100 for 100. you get a prescription from your doctor with instructions to take the first pill now when is now oh shit. You get a prescription from your doctor with instructions to take the first pill now, when is now? When the doctor wrote the prescription, when is now? Now is now, oh my God. Now is tomorrow? I don't know, I was never good at philosophy. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You get a prescription from your doctor with instructions to take the first pill now, when is now? Is it when the doctor wrote the prescription or is now? Now is now, but you can't answer an answer with the same thing. It's not the bottom two, it's not tomorrow, I don't know. It's when the doctor wrote the prescription. I feel like now is just, it feels smart. It's when the doctor wrote the prescription, right? Okay, next. I'm not looking at chat. I have a weird conscious of looking at chat, but they're not answering. I haven't seen anything. I should have it on the screen. Hold up. You know, never mind. Just trust me. Trust me. Which of the following countries does not have the 4th of July? Mexico, United Kingdom, France, United States, all these countries have it. Well, we have it. Fr 
Does Mexico have a 4th of July? No, it's Mexico. Mexico doesn't have a 4th of July because they have, uh... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which of these countries does not have the 4th of July? They're not saying 4th of July celebration, they're just saying the 4th of July. Right? Or am I tricking myself? So all these countries have it. They're not saying the holiday. They're saying has the 4th of July. All these countries have it. You're driving down the highway. See, I'm like... The, the devil's lettuce is slowly creeping in here. So I'm like... Take my time, you know? You're driving down the highway and drop your phone between the door and the side of your seat. Your first reaction is to... Okay, you're driving down the highway. Drop your phone. Oh! Side of your seat. First reaction is to grab that phone. But you're on the highway. Open my door, letting me reach my phone more easily. No. Unbuckle my seatbelt. Wedge my hand between the seat and the door and try to dive with... And try to drive with one hand. Now, that's what I probably would do. Weep that I won't be able to check Twitter on my way to work. That's the second thing I would do. Calmly pull over before reaching for my phone. Remember, okay, this is common sense, not what I would do. Common sense is the ability to judge things. Look, right here. Common sense is the ability to judge things, make sound decisions, and act in a reasonable way. Okay, remember that. Judge things, make sound decisions, and act in a reasonable way. The reasonable thing is to calmly pull over and reach over my phone. But the, is it that's not that reasonable? It's more reasonable to wedge your hand between the seat door and try to drive with one hand. That's that's reasonable. You're driving and reaching. But you're on the highway. So I say calmly pull over before reach my phone. That's a smart answer. Luckily you recovered your phone earlier. Okay, last question. Call back. Too bad the road on your way to work is flooded up ahead. What are you thinking? Luckily, you got your phone somehow. They don't tell you how. Too bad the road on your way to work is flooded up ahead. What are you thinking? It's just a little water. Nothing my car can't handle. My tires are made of rubber and rubber floats. Jesus. Whoever says that, if that if this is your answer, if I drive really fast and water won't have time to wash my car away, I guess I'll find another way to work. As someone who's driven through floods, you kind of have you you kind of have to just like eyeball it you know what i'm saying you got to be like what car am i in how deep is that puddle are there cars ahead of me already in this puddle you know what i'm saying but if it's flooded up ahead you just gotta find another way to work that's a smart answer although in real life i'd probably try to drive my car through it i think we're doing pretty good do you think uh, do you guys think we've got any of these wrong i don't think so it's late and you have to work early tomorrow. Your friends are going to an awesome party and offer to pick you up. What do you do? Okay, it's late and you have to work early tomorrow. Your friends are going to an awesome party and offer to pick you up. What do you do? Well, look, to, turns out it's quarantine and if this was a situation, your boy's catching it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I would die for an awesome party. Look, they don't just say any party. This is an awesome party. Awesome party. Well, if they're driving, I don't want to be rude, right? Option one. I'll be ready in five minutes. I don't even respond. Okay, but I better be home early. I want to get this. Wait a minute. Common sense. I got to remember. To judge things, make sound decisions, and act in a reasonable way. What if I what if I say don't respond, but then the test makes fun of me, and the test is like, you idiot, always say yes to your friends offering to go to, offering you to go to an awesome party. And outside of this game, if your friends ever offer this, if this scenario ever happens in your life, you say yes. Don't listen to this common sense. You say yes to this scenario every time. Ten out of ten, you say yes to this. Look, un unless, no, you just say yes, and you just have a rough day at work. Always say yes to this. I'm not going to even give you any options out. You just say yes. Sometimes in life, well, if they're driving, I don't want to be rude, right? Ready in five minutes. I don't even respond. You don't respond is the right answer. That's, that's the common sense answer. 
that hurt my soul. I felt like such a goody two shoes right in that answer. One, two, four, eight. The obvious next answer is 16. Pfft, I don't even gotta spend time on that. Wait. Yeah, it's doubling. Eight, one, two, four. Wait, no! Wait, I don't know. I don't know. We're not gonna go back. You just finished grocery shopping for the week, but it looks, but it looks like all the checkout lines are really long. What do you do? You just finished grocery shopping for the week. That's a lot of grocery shopping, but it looks like you're all out of checkout lane. And, but it looks like all the checkout lanes are really long. What do you do? You take my car to another store to pay for it. That doesn't make sense. I throw up my hands and feet and go hungry for a week. Okay. I'll shout. Do you even know who I am? And push my way to the front. I'll use the self checkout lanes. Obviously, you use the self checkout lanes. Some months have 31 days, others have 30, but how many have 28? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get this wrong. Some months have 31 days, others have 30, but how many have 28? I don't even know. How many have 28 days? I don't know. I feel like some of them have to. It's either one or three. Three feels like a good number. Hey, we're just guessing at this point. I don't even know. When you're playing the slot machines, what's your system to walk away with the most money? When you're playing the slot machines, what's your system to walk away with the most money? I just don't know which machines are hot. I play three at a time slots. The real money is the table games, um, not to gamble. What? You're okay, so you're playing slot machines. Ching! What's your system to walk away with the most money? I feel like there's no right answer here. It's definitely not the gamble because you're already playing slots. How do you make the most money? I don't... I play three at a time. I just don't know which machines are hot. If the machines are hot, that means they're pulling. That means they're pulling and you're winning. I play three at a time. Slots of real monies and table games. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone said the quiz is hilarious. I know. Dude, chill. I don't know. I don't know. I. What's. Remember, it's the ability to judge things, make sound decisions, and act in a reasonable way. Playing three at a time is not sound smart. That's not, okay, that's not, time out. That's not the answer. Slots, the real money is in table games. I feel like that's gotta be it. Like, I'm like metagaming this. I'm not even knowing, like, wh I'm like, what's the right answer to get this right? Oh my God. So I've been on a cruise ship I've been on a cruise ship playing slots with my family. When did we play slots? Well, the thing is I didn't play slots because I would play table games instead. That's the answer. That's the answer. Or maybe I just think it's the answer. You're taking an important test today and you can't find your lucky charm. What do you do? You're taking an important test and you can't find your lucky charm. What do you do? Freak out. Don't be ridiculous. I have more than one lucky charm. There's no such thing as a lucky charm. Wait, this doesn't, f wait. <laughs> I would kind of freak out a little bit. I'd like have, I, you gotta freak out a little bit. That's common sense. You, common sense is 
Don't be ridiculous. I have more than one lucky charm. I feel like I keep picking the fourth one or the third one a lot. I don't know. There's no such thing as a lucky charm. I feel like the like this is like the skeptical line. Like, oh, why even gamble? Oh, there's no such thing as a lucky charm. I feel like I'm being the Grinch choosing the fourth one. I say we just go and head and just have a nice little freak out. You know what I'm saying? It's your lucky charm. You can't find it. You got to test. Hey, you got to freak out a little bit. Maybe you'll find it. Ever pick up a hitchhiker? Nope. I don't plan to. Facts. Should I have said yes to that? I kind of did that fast. I think it's because of how I grew up. I grew up where it was like, yo, don't pick up hitchhikers. Like, you gain nothing by picking up a hitchhiker. Just why risk it? You know? Like, I know for a fact my mom was like, yo, don't pick up a hitchhiker. Especially if you're a girl, you're trying to pick up a hitchhiker. If you're picking up, like, a dude, the dude's stronger than you. It's like, it's not a good idea. Most of the time. All right. You're caught in a lightning storm. Your best course of action is to... Okay, I got this. I know exactly what to do. Hide under something tall. Guys, I just had a thought. Do you think that for the... For the... Oh, my God. Do you think for the questions that I don't know, that I feel like I can't, I can't find a clear right answer, do you think for those questions that I lack common sense? Do I do I already lack common sense? Like maybe I wasn't taught these things, so that's why I don't know the common sense answer to these things. I shouldn't think too deep. You're kind of lightning storm. The best thing to do is hide under sun tall, that's like your second op. No, no, bad idea, bad idea. Get to the lowest, I was thinking like under a tree, but that's still a bad idea. Get to the lowest spot I can find. That's the second best idea. Seek shelter in a building, that's the best idea. Seek shelter. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? I agree. Wait, there is no common sense answer to this question. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? I feel like I grew up saying that. Like, oh, everything happens for a reason. Like, everything that happens in your life is in more... I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that. I don't even know where I was going with that. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? I agree. Yeah, I think everything does happen for a reason. It has to happen for a reason. I agree. I'm not that much of a pessimist to think otherwise. It really hurts when you bend your arm like that. What do you do? Go to the emergency room immediately. You keep bending it like that. Or, um, stop bending it like that. Your arm hurts when you bend your arm like that. You just stop bending it like that, bro. Just, just stop bending your arm like that. Ow, it hurts. Okay, stop bending your arm like that. Just stop. Idiots. What is elbow grease? That's the opposite of being ashy, right? That's elbow grease? Like, if you have oily skin, but you have oily elbows, that's elbow grease, right? Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got you. Did I get you there? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, What is elbow grease? Come on, it's just working hard, man. Putting in that work. Putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? What y'all know about elbow grease? I'll tell you elbow grease. Uh, Jesus, I, I feel like I can't even finish my sentences. I feel like literally I have like half-ass thoughts. I'm blaming the devil's lettuce. Maybe it's just me. What is elbow grease? It's just the hard work. It's just that good old hard work. If something is good, too good to be true, it probably is, baby. <laughs> if something's going to sign me up, it definitely is. No, it probably is. Hey, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? Will there be a bungee cord or parachute involved? That means you're even entertaining the idea. You don't do that. If your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? Hell yeah. Will there be beer involved? Honestly, nope and nope. I mean, will there be beer involved is my second go-to because jumping off of things is fun, especially if you know it's safe. 
but I feel like your mom, these are like things that your family should have taught you. So if, if, if none of these things have resonated in your head, if none of these questions have come up as like, oh, I, I know the answer, family didn't love you. Straight up, straight up. They didn't teach you what they should have taught you. Growing up, your mom should have asked you, if your friends jump off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? Your mom has said that to you a thousand times. So nope and nope. That, that, one's, that one's for the moms right there. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. First first answer, or fool me, can't get fooled again, no. But it's okay, you straight ahead. It's, it's fool me twice, shame on me. Everyone knows that. Fool me twice, hello, my little friend. Hey. <laughs> That's not a bad one. Fool me twice, say hello, my little friend. But it's shame on me. You're driving down. Look, I'm trying to do good. I'm not trying to troll. I'm trying to do good. You're driving home and there's a downed power line blocking your path. Eek! What do you do? You're driving home and there's a downed power line blocking your path. What do you do? Drive over it. I've got rubber tires. Seems like a good idea. Get out and move it. Power lines are insulated. Nope, that's wrong. Because I only know that because I have family members who work in that industry, in the in power lines and electrical. You don't touch those things. Get out and splash water on it to make sure it's not active. Call the power company and wave off other drivers until they get there. I mean, that's just, I feel like that's just like trying. It's like just doing too much. Just drive around it. But if it's blocking your path, Yeah. Like when they say power line, do they mean like the whole pole that's holding the power lines or do they mean one of the wire lines snapped and that's down? Cause I'd probably drive over that. But if it's like the whole wooden power line, you're not driving over that. Right? But right here, it says get out and move it. Power lines are insulated. So they're talking about actual power lines. <sighs> the Oddish guy. I, I'm Oddish, I'm taking the common sense test right now. I'm on 23 of 25. I'm trying to figure it out. Good to see you. You're driving home. There's a downed power line blocking your path. What do you do? Okay, if I, I've, I've been in this scenario, but it was above me and I drove through it. So I kind of want to say drive over it. I've got more rubber tires. But if there's a downed power line, you don't call the power company and wave off other drivers until they get there. That's just too much. You're doing too much. I feel like that's what they want you to do. Like, I feel like this is the right answer. But I feel like drive over, I've got rubber tires. Is what I would do. But remember, common sense is the ability to judge things, make sound decisions, and act in a reasonable way. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die if you drive over it. But if you call the power company, oh, I feel like this is the right answer. For the sake of getting this right, Bob, Bobby Berm. All right, I don't know who Bobby Berm is, what's up? Taking the common sense test right now, and I'm I'm stuck as hell. Bobby, I don't know who that is. You're driving down home. There's a downed power line blocking your path. Chat, what do you do? Yo, shout out Bobby, I guess. That's what's up. I'm trying to take the common sense test. Uh, now, now there's a lot more people here. I'm not going to read the chat because I, I don't want you guys to influence me. Actually, it wouldn't matter anyways. It wouldn't matter anyways. You don't drive over it? I kind of think you drive over it. You kind of drive over it. Right? Walkie slush. Like you kind of drive over it. But I feel like the good guy answer is call the power company. This this is the good guy answer. This is what you do, right? Common sense, remember, this is the common sense. Judge things, sound decisions, act in a reasonable way. It is so unreasonable to get out of your car and wave off drivers. All right, I'm just gonna say this one. I'm just gonna say this one. I wouldn't do that though. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would drive over, dude. Like I would, I would just drive over them shits. But it's a power line. 
It can a power line shock your car and kill you? That's kind of scary, actually. I don't know. But haven't we driven over power lines all the time? But this just sound this just sounds idiot. Drive over it. I've got rubber tire. You don't drive over it? Are you sure? I kind of think you do drive over it. Or do you splash water on it? No, I'm just trolling. It's not, it's not splash water. Electricity can arc? What the heck does that even mean? What is that? Get caught up in your tire and then me touching metal. Oh my God, guys, you are playing out some situations here. These are some situations. I mean, that's true. What if it, what if it like, you drive over it and it just kind of like goes whoosh. You know what I'm saying? All right, I feel like this is the, I feel like this is the good guy answer. This is the good guy answer. It can definitely kill you. Oh shit. I bet half y'all don't even drive a car. Half y'all probably don't even drive. Probably, probably like take like a lift everywhere. All right, we're calling the power company. We're calling the power company. Good guy Bruce answer. Dang, I'm so mad you guys missed the beginning of this. I'm having fun with these tests though. We could find more. Actually, wait, I have more tests after this. Don't worry. Do I have common sense? Is it legal anywhere for a man to marry his widow's sister? <laughs> wait, what? You're still in a cart even if you take a lift. Check, you got me there. Check, check me, I guess. Wait, is it, is it legal anywhere for a man to marry his widow's sister? Okay, so if I, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, is it, is it legal anywhere for a man to marry his widow's sister? Wait, is that a trick question? A widow, it's a riddle, dude. A widow has no husband, so is it legal for you? No, it's not. It's not because, no, time out. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Is it legal for a man to marry his widow's sister? Oh my God. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Guys, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been hiding something. Look, we've been streaming for like four hours. I thought I'd take this common sense test. But for the sake of YouTube itch, I'm taking the common sense test pretty stoned. So don't tell on me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go back to this. Is it legal anywhere for a man to marry his widow's sister? A man to marry his widow's sister. Yeah, if you have a widow, you are dead. Exact. That's what I'm saying. It's a trick question. It's a trick question. <sighs> that was legitness. Yeah, it was. Huh? We're gonna eat Bruce. All right. What did I? I think we got this one. We got we got this, guys. Twenty fifth question. Yo, you guys liking these these tests? I have some other tests in store. I have some other tests that I that I bookmarked that seemed pretty fun as well. I'm kind of enjoying these. These are fun. Do you have common sense? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Trust is not given; it's earned. Do you agree with that statement? Trust is not given, it's earned. Do you agree with that statement? No, actually I don't agree with that statement. I think it's better to trust everyone and have them let you down. But you, you kinda gotta like gauge the trust levels. Trust is not given, it's earned. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't just not trust everyone that's a bad frame that's a bad frame to live from if you're just like oh i don't trust anyone so it's earned wait but i do agree with that i do agree with that because think about it like this this is how i approach life this is how i approach life check this out i don't have expectations of people right i don't have any expectations of anyone so what they do is how i'll judge them so if I don't have any expectations of you, I don't expect anything from you. I don't expect you to do good or bad. 
But if you do good, then I'm going to start thinking good of you, so I'll start trusting you. But if you do bad, then I'm not going to trust you. Does that make sense? So yeah, actually, I do agree. It's earned. How did I, how did I just talk myself out of my own answer? God damn, Tang, I ain't never heard no shit like this. I know, that's amazing. I agree. All right, let's see how I did on this test. Let's see. Let's see if your boys got common sense. Let's see whoever rated me. I don't know his name anymore. Your sense is 72% calm and you are pretty sensible. Bobby Byrne. Yo, shout out Bobby Byrne. I'm, I'm going to peep you after the stream. I am 72 cents calm and sensible. Wait, that's kind of bad. That's actually kind of bad. Wait a minute. That's actually really bad. Dude, I barely passed. You're right. That's barely passing. It's passing, though. Hey. Caesar degrees, baby. Caesar degrees. 